Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very happy and productive week. And being Friday, today is my question of the week video. So if you guys have any of your study questions that you want answered in an upcoming video, then leave them down below or send them through to me on Twitter and Instagram at Study with Jess. So if you're not following me, go follow me there. And if you guys enjoyed today's question of the week video, then thumbs up to let me know. And of course, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, join in. And let's just get straight into today's question. All right, so today's question comes from Sophie and Sophie asks the following. She says, Hi Jess, I have an older sister who always gets straight A's. Now that I'm in high school, I have some of the same teachers that she did, only I'm worried that they expect me to be just as good as her. How do you deal with sibling comparison and did you ever deal with something similar? Thanks a lot, love from Sophie. Sophie, I also have an older sister and she just might be in one of my vlog videos coming up. So if you guys, I don't know if I'm already gonna have filmed it by the time this video goes up, but if you guys wanna check out my vlog channel, it's Life with Jess and I'll link that down below as well. But yes, I do have an older sister, Michelle, and she is incredibly smart. She is so bright. She was one of the smartest students in her year and I always have looked up to her. We're really close, we have a fantastic relationship. And when I was at school, so we went to the same school and she is three years older than I am. So I actually ended up having a lot of the same teachers that she did. However, it was actually something that I could use to my advantage because she was a really good student. She was, we were both a bit of a goody goody, but she was a real goody goody. She never got in trouble. I don't think she ever got a detention. I got a couple, maybe two, I think it was two. But she was a really good student and the teachers absolutely loved her and she worked really, really hard. So if anything, they didn't necessarily expect me to be just like her and just as good as her, but they knew that I was her younger sister and I think that they just had this positive association with me. So because they loved her, they automatically loved me, which was fantastic. I, I think that was, yeah, that really worked in my favor. But I think as far as dealing with sibling comparison, even if I think back to when I was a kid at home, my parents never compared the two of us. We're actually very different. So I, I don't know, even just thinking about our personality, the sort of things that we like, our hobbies, even our strengths at school, you know, she was very, very good at maths, whereas I was much better at English. Or my strengths were much more on the humanities side and the creative side. So. Even when we got to university, which was very different degrees too, there wasn't really that much to compare us on. I think there was the expectation at home that we would always do our best, that we would try hard and that we would be respectful to our teachers, but we were never expected to do just as well as the other when it came to our subjects, our overall grades, our hobbies, anything like that. So my advice to you, Sophie, would be to focus on yourself, focus on you, focus on your strengths and I don't think that teachers typically expect a younger sibling to be just as good as the older one was at certain subjects. I think that they do expect similar personality traits or behaviours and mannerisms. If your older sister was really polite and respectful and did her homework and was always very productive and punctual, perhaps they'll expect the same from you there. But then as far as your grades, if you're doing your best, that's, that's all that they can really ask from you. So embrace everything that is different about you and your sister and focus on your strengths and know that if she was really good at something and you're finding it a little bit challenging now, to not beat yourself down on that and don't be so hard on yourself if, if ever you start to doubt in your abilities because you will get there and I know that for my sister at least, she had to work really hard on certain subjects that I didn't and vice versa. And I don't ever feel like we felt as though maybe one of us wasn't as good at that subject. We just knew that it didn't come as easily to us as we kind of wished that it would. So as long as you're not trying to be exactly like your sister and follow in her footsteps, but that you are embracing that you are a totally different person, that you are unique and you have your own strengths and areas that you can improve in as well, then that's really important because when we compare ourselves to others or we put expectations on ourselves, that can be very anxiety provoking and it can make us feel very stressed as well as just doubt in our own abilities and even diminish our own sense of self and self-esteem. So please don't do that guys. If you have older siblings or younger siblings, siblings in general, don't compare yourselves to them. Make sure to embrace your unique self and just do your absolute best at school. 
So Sophie, I hope I've answered your question. If you guys enjoyed today's question of the week video, then thumbs up, just let me know. And like I said, if you guys aren't subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. And if you want to check out some previous videos or previous questions of the week videos, then you can click the cards up over there. And I'll also leave a link in the description box to my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide, which has a bunch of study tips, advice, guidance, support, you name it. So you can check that out too. And of course, if you guys have any study questions you want for next week's video, then leave them down below. Alright guys, until Monday when I see you for brain food, have a very happy and productive rest of the week. Bye!